several state dealer associations have basically declared war on Tesla. That issue whether automakers have to go through dealers to sell their vehicles. You can go and look at a showroom, but you can't ask questions about pricing and you can't order one there. Are you kidding me? It is my honor to welcome to the stage Mr. Elon Musk. <laughs> When Elon Musk launched the first Tesla sports car, he didn't just set out to create a mass market for electric vehicles. He wanted to disrupt the entire auto industry by cutting out the middleman and selling his cars directly to consumers. No hard sell, no commission for employees, and uniform prices at every store. Tesla's sales approach has resonated with customers who want a more interactive car buying experience. I went to the gallery in Houston and sat in one and immediately said, I have to have this car. Matt Holm is one of those Tesla converts. He's a realtor in Austin, Texas, who spends a lot of time on the road driving clients in his sleek Model S. He loves the fact that his car doesn't require much maintenance and can be charged overnight in his own garage. But when Matt went to purchase his Tesla, he couldn't just walk into a store and buy one. I actually had to go online, configure it, and order it sight unseen, and then have it shipped out from California on a third-party truck, have it delivered um, to a third-party location. I mean, it was like uh, I was a spy or something getting some James Bond car delivered. Unlike the big car companies, Tesla doesn't have a network of independent dealerships that sell its cars. The company runs its own showrooms, but in Texas, along with five other states, the government makes it illegal to walk into a Tesla store and buy a car. And makes no sense that an American manufactured vehicle would be so challenging to get, you'd have to jump through so many hoops. Almost every state has some sort of restriction on purchasing cars directly from manufacturers. The purpose of these laws, which date back to the 1930s, is to prevent car buyers from cutting out the middlemen, which make up a big political constituency. The Lone Star State has about 1,300 car dealerships employing 100,000 people. You should embrace the franchise dealer network as the best, most efficient, and most pro-consumer way of selling new cars and trucks. But if car buyers really preferred going through third-party dealers, why do they need government protection? Companies have been trying to sell straight to consumers for a long time. In the late 90s, Ford attempted to circumvent the dealerships in Texas by starting its own stores. The state hit it with a $1.7 million fine, and the following year, then-Governor George W. Bush signed a law strengthening protections for the dealership cartel. Now Elon Musk is taking his own shot at selling direct to customers. In the past five years, Tesla has spent over $1.2 million on Texas lobbyists in an effort to eliminate the direct sales ban. The chair recognizes Representative Isaac for Thank a resolution. You. Thank you, Madam. It's not a free market approach. And so what my bill basically says is that a manufacturer of an automobile can sell direct to the consumer if they want to. Republican state legislator Jason Isaac introduced a bill in 2017 that would eliminate car dealership rules. He's come up against the politically connected Texas Auto Dealers Association. All he wants is an exception to a good law that serves Texas and Texans, and what it does is establishes a monopoly for him and eliminates his competition. And the auto lobby dealership is very effective at working the political system to their benefit that's not necessarily pro-business, but pro-auto dealership business alone. Lawmakers didn't act on Isaac's bill this session making it the third time that Tesla's efforts have been blocked in Texas. Customers like home are left to make their own arrangements to purchase Teslas out of state. But Elon Musk's campaign to remake the car industry is a hint of what's to come. Even Apple, which pulled off one of the greatest retail success stories of the last 20 years by opening its own network of stores, is working on its own car. If Silicon Valley succeeds in its quest to take over this nearly trillion dollar industry, the dealership model may not last. I think the consumers are going to start to demand this more and more as they realize, wait, there's an autonomous vehicle coming and I can't buy it? That, why, why is that? Oh, because that autonomous vehicle company doesn't have a dealer network. We've got to find some free market solutions that allow those companies to sell direct to their consumers. It's a better vehicle, period. And having that seamless manufacturer purchasing, the financing options, and then the service, um, I think goes a long way to making it easier for the consumer and beneficial really for overall pricing.